Hello everybody. Um, today I would like to show you how to deal with the plastic eyes, attaching the plastic eyes into, into the fly. I have this uh, nice little head that I demonstrated how to pack uh, the fibers. So I'm going to use this, you know, the same heads over here and to show you how to do that. You'll see, it's a very simple, and um, what you're going to need it pretty much is a uh, the colorized tool because we need it to burn uh, and make room for the eyes, so we have to create a little socket over there. So if you come uh, close to me, I will show you exactly how it gets done, and then after that you'll set, you will have no problem to attach any eyes or any flies pretty much. Follow me. Okay, here we are. Um, these are the plastic eyes I use uh, for all my flies. And the reason I use uh, these plastic eyes is because the stem that is behind the eyes. Why is this? It's basically, we need it to, of course, to cut the stem, but leave a tiny bit of the stem behind of the eyes just like that you should be able to see it okay what that does is the glue is gonna grab the little stem over there and it's gonna glue into the into the fibers and once the glue is dry it's gonna stay there forever so I'm gonna prepare the eyes again we're gonna Got it. There you go. And just to trim a tiny bit more. In this case, make it a little bit flat over here. Again, for you to take a look at it in an easier way, how it gets done. Just like that. Get your little tool. and burn it all the way down to the hook shank. It's very important that you understand at this point the fibers that get over here they kind of lose so don't stroke the fibers backwards otherwise you're going to pull those fibers with you. Just to make sure you have a nice socket over here. And as you can see, the way it seals. And you need to touch the hook shank. The whole idea is to glue the eyes into the hook shank. If we don't do that, what happens is when we, make, we, we do our first uh, um, cast, one eye is going to go one direction, the other guy is going to go to the other direction. So we really don't want to do that. We want to glue those eyes into the hook shank, pretty much. We go on the other side, and we burn it the same way we did on the other side. So there we are. At this point, get yourself a goop. I, I like to use a goop for, to glue the eyes. And I like this Zap Goo. It's the same company that makes the, uh, the Zapaga. And there you are. The little stem we left behind the eyes is gonna go into the socket. Okay. And another little trick I would like to show you is when you put the glue on it just like that see it? just go in don't be afraid if you see a little glue on the outside don't worry about it the fishes are not gonna worry about that so make sure that glue is in and there you have your eyes. Once the eye 
it's in and the glue will set the ice is not gonna go anywhere so and there you are okay here we are uh, we did the two things over here we created the heads we packed it and I showed you how to do the eyes so I'm sure you from now on from this point on you will have no problem as forever to deal with the eyes and the eye. anyway uh, that's it for today and uh, until next time